Hey, y'all. Hello, hello. Hello. Caught me. You caught me. I'm stealing a little dark chocolate Milky Way before we get started. Oh, so good. So good. And we're working on Easter. So, yeah, I have chocolate with Easter. All right. All right, guys. Um, I see messages coming across. Um... I'm just looking. Oh gosh, I need a paint pen. I don't know if this one or this one will work. All right, guys. How is everybody doing? Hello, hello. Hey, Rachel. Hey, guys. I had mentioned yesterday I didn't wasn't going to do the live yesterday. I was too tired um, after setting up the booth and stuff. So here I am today. So you get me today. I hope you guys watched Kelly's. Hey, Alice. Um, hey, Kim. I hope you guys watched Kelly's uh, What's Up Wednesday earlier. Hey, Emily. She did some fun stuff with cards and stickers. You know, we have some really cool sticker kits out, and they're so fun to use in your projects and in making cards. So if you missed Kelly earlier uh, with What's Up Wednesday, go back and rewatch it because she's really good at the card making and using stickers. Hey, Maria. All right, so I'm doing Easter today first. Um, I need to get St. Patrick's Day. I'm jumping right to Easter here. First, I'm going to show you a couple things I picked up at Dollar Tree. I did go to Dollar Tree. Now, I haven't been there in a long time, but I went the other day or something, and I went through their Easter. They're getting a lot of Easter out. Now, Easter is one of those holidays that you can decorate like crazy. It's a, it's like Christmas. There is so much out or on its way out for Easter, okay? So if you like to decorate for Easter now is the time to be checking out the stores. Um, and it's kind of fun because you don't have to go straight Easter. It's a lot of just stuff you could do for spring. Okay. So what we're doing today, um, I guess is Easter. It's Easter, but you, there's a lot of stuff you can do just spring like. Okay. So I'm going to show you a couple things I picked up at Dollar Tree. Okay. So first of all, they have this container. There's 12 pieces in here. I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet, but they're just so darn cute. I had to get them. They're little gnome Happy Easter truck tags. Look at, look how cute. And of course, they come in a little wood box. That's why it was worth the buck itself because I could do something with that. Okay, so look at, so these are from Dollar Tree. All right, so they had these. So I got one of those again. Not certain what I'm doing yet, but I got one. Okay, then they have these pillow covers there. I got two. They have a pink and a blue. Look at these. How cute are these? Okay, and this is probably, I don't know the size, if it says 15.7 by 15.7. So maybe a 16-inch pillow, maybe 15-inch pillow, whatever. All right, but look at this, okay? Plain on the back. Okay, we're going to do something fun with these one day with gem tack, okay, the glue that holds to fabric, and maybe some paint, maybe some paint. Zippered bottoms, okay, from the Dollar Tree. Check it out. All right. Now, here's the other thing I thought about these. They're cute. They're really cute. Now, yes, you have this big bunny on the front. But if you like this plaid background, what if you had a diamond kit that you made and you would like to put it on a pillow cover and you like this background? It comes in either the pink or the blue. You could put that right over the bunny. You wouldn't even see the bunny. You would just see your diamond kit with this background, with the plaid background. Okay, so something to think about. If you have like a 11, an approximately 11 by 11, which sometimes come out to be like 10 by 10, it will probably fit on here, cover the bunny. Or you could always do a layer under it. I always like to layer things, you know me. So I would do my diamond kit with a little layer of color under it, of whatever color that would match the kit plus this, and then on top of this, okay? So just an idea, but I thought these were awesome for a buck and a quarter. So I got one of each color. Um, we'll probably be doing a project with those one day, okay? Um, they did have these in stock. They don't normally have these in stock. They had a whole case of them. And I've seen a lot of cute projects with the candle glass candlestick things. So I just did pick up one. Again, don't know what I'm doing with it yet, but I did pick up one. And then I think I'm going to do a project one day with these. They're just the flower seeds, but I like the package. So what I would be doing is cutting them open and using the packages for something, okay? I got a little idea in my head. Not certain it'll work, but you know. Let me see what else I got. Hang on, let me get the other bag. Um, here we go. 
All right. I thought these were cute. Again, guys, I have no plans for this yet. Not really. I mean, a couple things floating in my head, but nothing, nothing for a minute. Look at these little bags. Uh, shaped gift bags. You get a set of two. And they draw at the top. They're little carrots. How stinking cute are these? Now, these, I was thinking about something with stickers for these. Okay, so be watching for those. I got some eggs because we're going to do something with eggs. I got one of these because we're going to be doing something with this soon. Okay, that little uh, whatever it is. What is it? It's a skimmer. It's a skimmer. It's in the kitchen department. And then look at this. How cute is this? Now, I love the Happy Easter. I love the whole thing together, but I really love this bunny. So I think I'm going to be separating this and using the bunny on something else. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Renee. Hey, Bonnie. Hey, everybody. Karen. All right. So I think I'm going to be separating this and using the bunny for something else. So, because he's just darn cute. He's just, no, it's all cute, but you know. And then what else? Oh, I just found these. It's just, they're little tags that say celebrate. Little wood cutouts. Okay. So, that's what I've picked up so far for Easter. Now, I have to tell you, I have so much e Easter left from probably last year, probably the year before. I've got a lot of Easter. So, I'm going to be doing, uh, I'm going to be collecting some stuff into a box. And I'm going to be doing a giveaway of a box of Easter Happy Mail. Okay? I'm going to spread the joy with you guys. So, I will be posting it online and it, on Facebook. And if you would be interested in receiving the Happy Mailbox of Easter, uh, the Easter Happy Mailbox, we'll call it, um, you're gonna, you'll are gonna you put your name down in the comments on the post when I do it. And I'll try and do it today when I get done here, okay? So if you would like some Happy Mail, be watching for that post, okay? So here's the other thing that I have. And this is this stuff I picked up because I just saw it and it's so darn cute. This is just one bag I have. And this I got as Happy Mail, I believe, from a diva. Yep. Um, look at all this fun stuff. Okay. I mean, I, and I've got tons more <laughs> in my room of Easter. I love Easter. I love the colors, the fun of spring coming, just, you know, just the whole thing. So anyway, um, so be watching for that post and you may be getting a surprise box of happy mail. I should do it. I should pick somebody and not even announce it. And then when that person gets it in the mail, they can announce themselves because then they'll be surprised they're getting it. That would be fun. Hey, Christy. Hey, Marlis. Hey, Kim. Okay. So yeah, I might do that. Then whoever gets the happy mail, you have to announce yourself that you got it. Okay. So we'll see. I'll figure it out. I'll get it going. Okay. So I'm using this little piece today. It says happy Easter. I'm sorry. I didn't flip the screen. It does say happy Easter. Okay. Hey, Carol. And then I've got this big egg from Dollar Tree today. Now they had like four patterns of these. I couldn't choose. They were all cute. One was cuter than the next, but this was the first one I picked up, so that's what I went with. Hey, Mel's. And um, so it's this one. Now, I started it already because I needed my white paint to dry. I didn't want you guys to have to sit and watch me watch paint dry. Okay. Hey, Kelly Mae. So do you see the pattern? Is, can you see through the white? Okay. There's a pattern of flowers on there. And then there are like three flowers that are raised. Okay. Do you see that? All right. So this was one of the patterns, and it stands up. I'm going to flip you guys down a little bit here. Uh, okay, so it stands up like so. Not on this pad, but it does. Trust me, it stands up. It's wood, okay? Now, if you wanted to separate it, you probably could, because it looks like this is just glued into this little base. You could probably pry this base off if you wanted to use the egg on you know, something else. But I'm going to leave it as a standing today, because I do have a little plan for it, believe it or not. Um... But how cute is this, right? And it is 10 inches tall. So 10 inches tall. And again, they had four different patterns, four different ones. But this was the first one I touched because so, I was going to stand there and try and decide which one, which one. And I'm like, nope, first one I touched, I'm going with it. <sighs> I got dust everywhere. Okay, so what I did is I just painted the whole thing white. Okay, and like I said, I did that just a little while ago. I painted it in a white um, chalk paint. Because I don't want you guys to have to sit and watch paint dry with me. Okay? Okay. Then I painted two of the flowers pink. And I just used this uh, Paradise Pink acrylic. I'm going to put the rest of my paint back into the jar here. I am a little frugal like that with my paint. 
If I have a whole bunch sitting on a plate, you know, I just kind of scoop it back in. Because then I don't have, if I don't, I don't run out, I don't have to go to the store buy more. <laughs> okay. So there is the pink I did. Now I'm going to do, I was trying to decide my colors here. I am going to do purple. Um, orange and... Let me think, let me think. I wanted like a teal, but uh, yeah, we, well, we, we can go with these. Now there are some layers on these flowers, okay? So we're gonna see where we get here. Okay, my brush is in the water. Hello, Lori, hey, Carol. Where did you get it? Dollar Tree, Kelly. Hey, Tammy. Dollar Tree, guys. Everything I got right here you're gonna see. Um, is from Dollar Tree today. So if you missed the beginning, hey Brenda, if you missed the beginning of the live today, I just went through a little thing of um, what I picked up at Dollar Tree. Cause you know, they're putting all the spring and Easter and stuff out. So, okay. So I'm gonna paint a few more of these flowers and then I have a plan, I think with them. Um, we're gonna put some diamonds, of course. You guys know that. Um, and I'm going to use this little guy, too. I haven't decided what color I'm going to make him yet, though. Um, he might be purple. I just put some purple on my plate right here. I think I'm going to make the outside of this, the egg part, purple. Now that I've just kind of decided that. All right, so I'm just going to paint this. Now, this little egg part, I'm sure it probably came from Dollar Tree. Uh, probably not this year, though, because it was in this bag of stuff, bag of pieces that I have, um, but there's all kinds of little stuff out there that you could use. And you guys will come up with so many different ideas than, than what I have, because you guys are all so creative. Okay. All right, so I just, I left the words um, unpainted and I just painted the egg part. Okay, so happy Easter. So I'm gonna just put that to the side to dry. I'm gonna get my big egg back, big egg. All right, and I'm gonna paint, let me think what I'm painting here. I'm gonna paint this one purple. All right, and I'm just, like I said, I did pre-paint this white. Now, I painted the whole thing white. It would have been hard, I think, for me, <laughs> to paint around all of the detail, all the flowers and everything. So that's why I painted the whole thing white and then figured I would Put my colors over it okay so it is almost kind of with do, painting this over the white it's probably not as um uh what do i want to say dark or deep as it would be if i was painting it straight on the wood so it's almost kind of got like a watercolor look to it if you look at it closely but i'm fine with that i am totally good with that now, I am what I was looking for my paint marker for is because when I am done, when this is 100% dry, I will take a black paint marker and outline everything. All right. I just love, I like that look of the outline, the black outline. I think it just looks whimsical and just fun. So I will do that when this is totally dry. Okay. So here's this little flower here. And I am leaving, do you see around the edge? There's this white, like a little border. I am leaving that border right now. I was thinking about if I'm gonna paint it or not. Um, but for now, I'm gonna leave it because then I was also thinking about maybe putting a trim on it, on the border. I don't know what I have available though. So I'd have to look. Okay, so there's our purple. All right, and now I'm gonna go over here and do a purple here. Now this flower, this big one down here, this one here too actually has two layers to it, but I painted the middle layer. But this big one down here, do you see has two layers in it? I'm gonna paint that inside layer purple. I'm not gonna do, and then I'll paint the outside layer a different color. All right, so let's do the inside purple. And I pulled out some orange and teal, orange, teal, oh, and purple, and then the pink's already on here. Um, 
I don't know. So I don't know if I'm going to incorporate any more colors. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. So what are you guys up to? Has anybody else started making anything for Easter yet? Making any Easter projects? I got a couple of cute kits in today for Easter. They're cute. But they're going with me. Sorry. <laughs> I shouldn't have even said anything. They're going with me out to uh, State Farm Stadium tomorrow. So this weekend is State Farm Stadium. So if you're local, Diamond Dotting Divas will be there. But we will still be at the Marketplace. Okay, we will still be at Mason Marketplace. Hey, Mo. Hey, Linda. Hey, Brenda. You guys. Um, so if you're local, you have two opportunities to see us this weekend. State Farm Stadium in Glendale or the Mesa Marketplace in Mesa. Two chances, two places to see us. And I will tell you, I have a lot of different stuff out at Mesa or out at State Farm Stadium that uh, you guys have not seen yet. Because I've been kind of hoarding stuff for this show for about a month. <laughs> so when we set up yesterday and I was unpacking, I was like, Oh, yeah, I remember that. Oh, yeah, I remember that. I remember ordering those because I haven't seen this stuff in like a month. So there is some the same. There's definitely some that is the same. But I do have some stuff that is new out there. So, and I'm hoping we don't have anything left. But if we do, it will be coming to the Mesa Marketplace then or online. But yeah, listen to me. Hoping we have nothing left. Okay, getting down to this bottom floor. I'm trying to figure out how this flower goes. I'm trying to follow the lines, but they're not making sense to me, which is normal. All right. All right, I don't know if that's 100% right, but... It will be now. Okay, so there's those two. Okay, we're gonna let those dry. Okay, just covering up some of my brush lines here. Okay, so what else? I have a lot of ideas for crafts for Easter I wanna get done. How about it, Kelly, right? Uh, floral, Kelly, you're into floral. See, I can't do florals. I, you know what? I love to paint. I love to do this kind of stuff. I, um, floral arranging, I just, is not me. I just can't, it's not that it's not, yeah, I just can't do it. So I'm not into florals, but you know, I'm not a flower girl. I don't know why. Um, I mean, I love stuff like this. I love the look of flowers, but I have never been able to do floral arranging and I see people that do it and they just whip something up and it looks just beautiful. Um, and I just can't do it. So, but good for you. That's awesome. Yeah. Easter again, Easter is one of those holidays, guys. You can go crazy like Christmas. I mean, there is just so much. You leave your pink purple hearts. There you go. Nothing wrong with that. Absolutely not. Nothing wrong with that. You can leave them up whenever. There are no decoration police guys. Don't let people tell you what to put up and down. Except your Christmas lights, okay? <laughs> Please, I don't want to drive by your house and see your Christmas lights up in July, okay? That's my only thing. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, and then you spend so much time making this stuff and whatever, and you're like, if you're enjoying it in your house, have at it. Don't worry about it. Okay. So then, so I've been trying to stock up for the show. So I've got that all pretty much set up. I gotta go out there tomorrow. I've gotta, I'm gonna attempt tomorrow to organize under the table. I did have Al helping me and he's a huge help setting up, but then we were kind of both getting tired and we were hungry and thirsty. And so a lot of the overstock, which I have a lot of, got like put under the table, but I don't really know where anything is. So I want to go out and just try and get that organized um, before we open, but tomorrow or Friday. But anyways, but in addition to 
stocking up for that kind of stuff, I've been trying to work on getting stuff for the cruise people too, for swag and projects and stuff like that. So uh, we actually leave on the cruise 60 days from today, so two months. I don't even have my airline reservations yet. I need to get moving. So, yeah, so I've been trying to get that stuff done too. So, okay. So orange, my favorite, my favorite color orange. And I'm gonna make this one a little bigger. Oh, I went too big, I knew it. Oh, okay. Nobody will ever know. All right. So have you guys been to your Dollar Trees? Have you guys checked out the Easter yet? I mean, it's it's crazy. Um, a lot of the stuff they get, you know, and it's like with all their holidays, a lot of it they get the same stuff in every year, you know, year after year. But then they do get some new stuff also to squeeze in with the old stuff. They have some really cute signs out. Actually, I did buy two signs also because I've been decorating the signs from there to hang out at Marketplace. I add leftover diamonds to them and we hang them in the booth. So I had them for Valentine's Day and whatever. And it's just so funny how many people want to buy them. They're like, do you have that kit? Do you have that one? I'm like, that's from Dollar Tree. <laughs> just added diamonds to it. So yeah. Okay, mm -mm -mm. see now this orange, here's what happened here. Now, so there is a flower inside of here. I am gonna put orange on here and it's gonna be hard to see right now. I'm painting the flower that's on the inside. But once I outline it and we add some diamonds, I think you'll be able to see it better. Um, I didn't even think when I painted this pink one of going around it, but I think it'll be okay. Let's see if I can even see where it's at. Oh! Yeah, you can see it. And once I do the detail, we'll be good. All right, so now we got the orange, a little touch of orange in a couple places. Isn't it cute? You guys, and they have four different ones, four different ones. It's very hard to decide. I'm gonna do the orange in here too, just cause I have it out right now. I'm gonna get this one done. Um, and I'm wondering if my Dollar Tree just put these out since they had so many, they probably, they must have just put them out uh, because they had all four different designs and, you know, like quite a few of them all. So they probably just put these out like today or something because they're cute. They're not going to be there long. No, look behind me, you guys. I still have Valentine's Day up behind me because I don't have anything else to put up there yet. Oh, my carrot guy I made the other day. I'm just almost done with that. I just got to do a couple things to finish it up, and then I'll put the picture up, and I'll hang that up. All right, so there's that. Let me wash this brush. Okay, I have one more color here. I may have to incorporate another color or use another one of these colors again. Okay, get rid of the orange. Me and scooping up my paint. Uh, all right. Uh, I just got orange on the table. All right. Let's go. We're going to go with this little bit of blue green turquoise color. It's called Atlantis. Okay, and let's see. I'm thinking I'm going to have one flower that's going to be odd. 
uh, that I might have to incorporate another color into. I don't know. But look at these bright colors. I love it. All right. So this is Atlantis. Atlantis, like the resort in the Bahamas. I do like this color. What do you think? What do you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So do you see my problem now is I've got two places that still need to be painted there at the bottom, but they're next to each other. So, let me think. I have to figure out what other color I can use on one of them. I'd like to reuse one of these colors. I don't really want to incorporate another one. See, this is when I should plan ahead and kind of plan out what, <laughs> what color I'm putting on which flower so that I don't have them together like that. But, you know, that would be too difficult for me to do. Okay. 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 Thanks, Kim. Time flies 60 days to your cruise. Yes. Yes. 60 days. Oh, Kelly May, you're so funny. You are so funny, girl. Um... Okay, here I know what we're going to do. We're going to do this blue, and then I can do that flower purple, because the purple will be inside this one. Um, I'm sure it's beautiful, because, again, we are our own worst critic, you know, as you know. So I'm sure they are beautiful. And, yes, as long as they make you feel good, you're all good. But I'm sure they're gorgeous. Okay, now how am I going to get in here? Now I'm trying to get into those parts between the little skinny parts between the, the purple flowers now. Okay. All right. We're almost done, guys. We're getting there. We're getting there. And we're going to get to the decorating part. And... Oh, I have that little egg. The little egg I gotta do yet. Oh, I need, I need, I might just make his letters white. I made the egg purple. Um, I may make the letters white. Oh, well, you know what? I can make them pink probably. All right, I do like all these colors together. I will give it that. All right, now this is going to be, this is so easy, you guys. The, today's project, I mean, seriously, so easy. And leftover diamonds, some paint, and uh, this egg for a buck and a quarter from Dollar Tree. And it's really, it's just going to be really cute. But I really like those pillowcases, you guys. I'm serious when I say if you've got a really cool, Diamond kit that you've done, that's like the ones that are 11 by 11, 10 by 10, that size. You know, they say approximately 11 by 11, but some of them, when you cut the edges off, they're actually 10 by 10. That's why we always put approximate, because they come in different. Um, that would be a really cute pillowcase for one of those, and it would just cover up the bunny cover up the bunny and put some, you know, layer some fabric on there, like I said earlier, and I think it would be really cute. Okay, so now I've got to get down in here. I'm just trying to use the tip of this brush, although I'm putting something down here, so you're, you know what, you're really not going to even see that part, because I am going to be putting, um, I'm putting some moss down here at the bottom. So this is probably, you probably won't even see this, but I'm going to paint it anyway. <laughs> I 
Hey, Francisco. Very cute looking. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I'm just trying to straighten my lines here. Okay. Good enough. Good enough. Good enough. Now, I do have centers on some of these. Okay. So this one's got a center yet to be painted. That one we did. This one's done. So this flower, I'm going to now do purple, but I need a center on this one. So I'm guessing we could go with this turquoise for this one since, okay, and there are lines in here for this, the center. And then there's actually like a little circle in the middle, but of course we're going to put a diamond there. So I'm not going to worry about that. And you'll be able to bling these out as much as you want or as little as you want with your leftovers, with whatever leftovers you've got. Now, I did just order, I don't know when they'll be here. I just ordered um, a selection of assorted leftover crystals. I didn't order that many because I don't know what they're going to be like yet, but I'm hoping we'll like them. And then for those people that may not have a lot of leftover crystals... You know, if you're just starting or you haven't done a lot of the 3D projects and so you don't, you never, you know, you don't have a lot of leftover crystals. So I found these and I thought, hmm, I wonder if people would like them. So I just ordered them a few days ago. Not sure when they'll be here, but I'm hoping they're good and that then that will help those of you that might not have a lot of them. Um, I think I might, I have so many leftover crystals. It's crazy. So many leftover diamonds, period. Um, I might have to throw some in the Easter giveaway box, the Easter happy mail box that I'm going to be giving away. Okay. And if you missed what I'm talking about, you guys will have to rewatch the beginning and you'll hear about the Easter box coming up that I'm going to be giving away. I'll be posting the information on Facebook soon. And if you like Easter and you like fun stuff, You'll be able to enter to get the giveaway box, the surprise box. Okay. Oh, look how cute. Look how cute. Okay, so what color did I say? Purple. So I got to get the purple back. Purple for this last little flower. And then I think the centers are all done also. All right. And then we're going to get out. Come on. Um... Let me get my tacky glue out. I lost the cap of my tacky glue. So now it's always stopped up. And I have a little pokey thing, but I don't know where it is. It's buried under all this Easter I just took out. What do I do with it? Um, so yeah, I lost, um, it probably got picked up like when I was cleaning the table after painting and stuff. I'm sure it got picked up for like garbage, you know, and thrown away. But now it's a pain in the butt. Okay. So now here too. Now I got to paint between the lines of these little tiny flowers. Oh my goodness. And here's the thing too. And I just did it again on this one. So painting these 3D flowers, you know, they're up a little bit. So I try to go right to the edge without going over, but it didn't fail. I went over a little bit. So then I had to get the white out and touch it up. <laughs> it's like forward two steps, back one. All right. All right, here we go, guys, we're getting there. So what I was thinking around the outside, and I don't know, I can't decide, is if I wanted to put a trim on it. Like, see, and I don't know if I have any, um, I don't think I have any, like, lace or something like that around, I thought might look cool around the outside. Or if I had, like, a flower trim, like I've seen some flower trims, but I know I don't have any of that. But just an idea for you guys, if any of you are going to make one of these, um, you know, trimming around the outside of the egg to, and giving it a touch of fabric. 
you know, just another element. Okay. Here we go, here we go. Yay! Hey, Cecilia! Brenda, thank you. Thank you, thank you. We're getting there. We're getting there. Getting to the end of painting. Oh, I just got more purple on the white. Dawn. All right. Last one. I am making a mess. You guys can't see it. I'll show you in a sec. And then I'm going to touch it up. And then I'm going to touch it up. Now to start with the egg, the egg could have been any color. I couldn't, I couldn't think though. I couldn't think what other color to make it. What other color could the egg, it could have been anything. It's an Easter egg. Easter eggs are all different colors. All right. It could have been anything. Do you see where I went off? Onto the white. Um, yeah, it could have been anything, but I don't know. I just went with white. I guess if I decided I wanted to change it, I could go back and paint around it now. But that probably is not going to happen. Okay, so now I'm just taking my white and touching up where I went onto it. And this is white chalk paint. So it is very good about covering your, you know, covering up. Okay, is that it? Anywhere else? Okay. So there we go. We got it all done, all painted. Now we get to decorate. Let me put these away. So I've got out my white tacky glue. Now you could use your white tacky glue. You could use, um, oh, I was going to do these. Darn it. Hang on. Let me paint Easter. Happy Easter. Um, you could use your B7000, whatever kind of glue adhesive you have, okay? I like tacky glue, the white tacky glue, so that's what I choose to use, but you can use whatever you want. Okay, so now I'm just painting the word East, Happy Easter in white, all right? And I think I'm going to do, um, I was thinking of doing maybe a design on the egg. Just like some dots or something. Polka dots. Just so he's not plain. I got paint inside the A so it's, you can't see through it. All right. So there's my happy Easter, the little egg. And what color do I have out here? Um, we're gonna do orange because that is, I think the furthest away from where this is gonna go, so. So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna take the handle of my brush and we're just gonna put a few dots on, on the purple part, okay? So I've got my bigger brush here that I used for the white paint. And again, if you had like a white spray paint, you, I could have, you know, taken it outside and spray painted it, but I just hand painted it with a brush. All right, so I'm gonna take some of my orange and just, and I guess I could have done this in like all different colors, but I'm just gonna do a few here and then let this dry. And I'm going to make some and make it look like it's going off the edge. All right. All right, let's see here. There's a couple more off the edge. Okay, so there's our egg. 
purple and orange. We're gonna let that dry. <coughs> All right, we're gonna get out, I've got some trays. I took a couple of trays out. I've got my diamonds, assorted colors and menageries and things. And I'm using, of course, the crystals because I want it to be shiny and, um, you know, shiny and fun. So I'm looking for my bigger stuff. Um, let me see which ones have all that, the biggest stuff in them. Not that one. Okay. So these two have my bigger diamonds in it. The others, I think, are smaller. So let me just pull out what I've got. Um, I've got some big blue. I have some big. Now these I'm going to use for the centers. And then I'm going to use, um, what color are these? Yellow. I'm going to use probably some regular diamonds, the regular size, and do some outlining in the flowers or make like stem lines or, you know, whatever, whatever you can think of. Let me dump some of these purples out. Okay, so I just wanna show you, and I don't, where is my little poker? Darn it, darn it. I just saw it here this morning too. Oh, there it is. It was buried under the bag. Okay. Let's see if this opens it. All right, so we're gonna do a little glue. All right, I still have some purple on my plate and I just saw some purple where I missed. So I'm gonna just touch that up. How did I miss it? I don't know. All right. So a little bit of white, and then I'm gonna take a toothpick, and of course, you guys have seen me, if you've been watching, you've seen me do this a million times. Oh, it's really stopped up. I'm gonna have to take the lid off. I'm gonna have to put it under hot water and clean it out. So in the meantime, we'll just do this. There's my toothpick. Okay, so I have, see what I would like to, can you guys see? I know it's gonna be hard to see. I have some of this shape in some colors. I would love to use that shape like on the corners or you know, like on the edges of these here, but I've gotta find enough, like with the petals are here, these are like blue color. So these might work here. Ah but I think I am gonna outline them too. So let me just place these on here to see. Um, Cause I know I don't have enough of that. Now I do have this pink. So I'm gonna do this pink first. I'm just using the cap because, and it's a brighter pink than what my flower is. Okay, so I'm gonna put that in the middle cause I like it there. And I'm gonna do another one up here. Oop. Okay, so now let's see what other colors I've got here. Put that pink back. All right, I'm looking for bigger. So do you guys, when I do a project and there's big diamonds in it, I like get so excited. <laughs> Cause I'm like, oh, I'm gonna be able to use these on something. Oh my God, look, I have big orange. Who would have known it? Never would have thought I'd have big orange. So big orange, where can I put this? Let's see, big orange can go here. <laughs> big orange. <laughs> Big orange can go up here, or I could put big orange here. Okay, so let me put some big orange down. All right, so you guys now get the idea. I am gonna use these. I'm just gonna put some glue here. 
and put these down. Now, if you see white, it's okay. Remember, I know I say it a million times, but for those of you that may not have heard me before, uh, the white glue, I am using Aileen's Tacky Glue. And the white glue that you're going to see squishing out behind it and stuff is going to dry clear. So ignore that. Ignore that part and be like, man, she's making such a mess. Yes, I am. Okay. All right. So let's take a look and now you can see. Do you see the diamonds? Hey, Tracy. Hey, Lorene. Hey, guys. Hey, Marsha. Is there going to be a contest? There is. There is. If you missed it, you guys, I talked about it at the beginning. You can replay and watch what I said. Um, you don't have to make anything. All you're going to have to do is put your name down going to be that easy and you can win uh, a care package not care package a um what do i want to call it a happy mail package okay you could win a happy mail package of easter all right so i will be post i'll make a post and then you guys can see what uh what i'm talking about all right so here i have some of these that look like little pearls so right now i'm just doing all the centers because those are Let's face it, those are the easiest to do. I'm looking for something really big for this orange one because this orange one doesn't have another layer. The only thing I'm sh I have that's really big is gold. I didn't really want to use, I want to use gold. And I have dark blue and I don't want dark blue. I have this pink, but it's a pink flower. These are the ones Maria likes. Oh, I guess I could use that. It does look cool. We'll go with that. I'll show it to you. I'll hold it up. It's a pink flower. I don't know what project they came off of. I've gotten them in a couple different projects because I've had them a few times. Okay. Do you see which one I'm talking about? See the pink flower? All right. Now, I think I might wind up putting some diamonds around the egg part too. Okay. I want it to be blingy. I want it to be, it's Easter. I want it to shine. Uh, I'm going to do an orange one here. Right here in the center. And yes, I'm not even using a tool. I'm just using the tool that's attached to my body. <laughs> okay. So then I think I have something in all the centers. All right. Now this little guy, like these flowers, I think, even like this one, I think I like these pearls. I think I kind of like these pearls at the end. Where are they at? Where are they at and do I have enough of them? Here they are. Nope, is that them? Oh, I have two containers of pearls. Okay, but they're different sizes. These are, those are smaller. Hang on, I'm just talking to myself here. Just, do you guys talk to yourself when you're crafting? I know I'm not the only one. Okay, I think these are a mixture of sizes now. I don't know what I got going on. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit of glue at the end of each of these petals. And then we're gonna put pearls there. All right, so now let me find, if I can find the right size. I've got two different sizes mixed together. See, I don't think of that when I'm putting them in. Flip over. All right. Bigger one. Oh, so cute. Look at me. I'm like right into it. I'm like down into the. <laughs> I'm like really concentrating. All right. Do you see it? Do you see it? Okay. 
Okay. All right. So I'm going to continue to do that. I'm going to finish this thing. And then let me show you what I was talking about earlier. Okay. And my little egg is not dry yet, but I'll show, I'll tell you it's really wet and I'm not going to be able to do what I want to do with it. Okay. Do you see it? And I might put some diamonds on there too. I might put some clears inside the orange. The orange is not dry because I used the end of the um, brush to do those. It's not dry yet. It's going to take a little while because it's so thick there. Um, but I might put some clear diamonds like inside the orange ones. So I was looking for, oh, my paint marker earlier. So let me just show you what I'm talking about, what I'm going to do with the paint marker. Once I'm all done, I'll do this one right here just because it's dry. You want to wait till it's really dry before you do this. So I have my paint marker. I'm going to get it going. Now you can do this with a liner brush and your paint if you'd rather do it that way. Me, not so much. I am just going to outline this. Okay. And heck, that's why it's called a paint marker, because it's paint. <laughs> okay, remember what I always say about black and white. When you do anything with black and white against the color, how it just makes it pop. All right, so I guess what's going to happen now is I'm going to wind up outlining this entire thing. Remember I showed you that line that goes all the way around? It looks like I'll probably wind up outlining the whole thing. But do you see what I'm saying, how it brings the color out? Now I'm still going to add diamonds to this you know, to the um, thing. So I will still add diamonds to it, but I just wanted you to see that's my plan. So then even like inside this one where it has an inside flower, I'm gonna go around and do each of those petals. And then, um, I don't know on these because they're raised, if I will do the outside too. I'll wait till it's done and then I'll see what it looks like. If it looks like it's really missing something, then I may try and do that. I may take my paint marker and go around the outside where it's raised. All right, but I'll wait till I'm done and see what it looks like. But if it looks like it's lacking, like, okay, something's missing, then yes, I will do that too. Okay. So do you see it inside the flower? See what a difference it makes? It just gives it that whimsical pop. All right, and then I am going to do this outline like so, all the way around. All right, um, extra special happy mail. I like it. You know I'm stealing it, Maria. I am stealing that. Okay, so I'm gonna do this black line. Okay. I love doing, I love doing the outline. Can you tell? I just love the way it looks when it's done. Okay. So that's that. I will do that when it's all dry. I'm afraid I'm going to get into something here and it's going to be, I'm going to mess it up because it'll be wet. All right. So that'll be cool, huh? Now you guys could do this in any colors you want. You could make your egg a different color. Um, like I said, you can put some trim around the outside. I will look, I do have some lace down here. I don't know that I have enough though. Okay. So then here's what my plan is. I am going to take some moss, which I did buy a new bag the other day of moss, the messy moss. I am going to glue some moss around the base here, okay, to give it some texture. You know, I, I don't like it just all this. I like to add some other stuff. So I'm going to add some moss around the base here. And then I am going to take this happy Easter egg. I am going to put a bow, a little bow at the top because it does have the little hole there. So I'm going to add a little bow, probably um, raffia, I'm thinking. I'll look and see what colors of thin ribbon. I have some Easter ribbon, but it may all be too thick. I will see, but whatever ribbon I said. So I'm going to do some of that grass um, moss around the bottom. Okay, glue it down. And then I'm going to glue this in it. Okay, so this is going to go into the moss. So it'll kind of stick out in front of here and into the moss. Okay, so that is the plan. But I need to let this dry. I can't do anything with that till it dries. And I want to finish putting all the embellishments on here first before I put the moss on, of course. Okay. Hey, Gail. Hey, everybody. Uh, oh, cute, Marsha. That would be cute. Yeah, Dollar Tree. And I'm telling you, my Dollar Tree must have just put them out. And there's four different styles. They had four styles. They had them all lined up on a shelf. And I was like, oh, I can't decide. And this was the first one I touched, so I just went with it. I said, nope, that's what I'm going with because 
I couldn't decide. They were all cute. And I only bought the one. Because <laughs> I know I have so much Easter stuff. And I keep getting more. <sighs> so anyways. Okay. I'm going to go make a flyer right now about the extra special happy mail. I love that. Oh, Maria, you're so clever. Um, extra special happy mail. I'm going to go make a flyer about that right now and post it so you can see what you have to do. All you're going to have to do is comment on the post. Um, and the reason too is I don't want to send, I don't, I mean, I could pick somebody like off the live off of here, but I don't want to send it to somebody that doesn't, doesn't want it. You know what I mean? You know, not everybody's into Easter. Not everybody wants to make all this extra stuff. Um, happy works too. Oh, happy mail. What did I say? What did I say? I said happy mail, but what did you say? Extra special. Where's your comment? Hang on. I'm looking. Extra special. Oh, happy mail. Okay. I just saw it. <laughs> Okay. Happy mail. Love it. Hey, Sue. Um, okay. Extra special happy mail. I love it. Okay. But I want to send it to somebody that doesn't want it. I want somebody to get it that would, you know, do something with it that would appreciate it. Cause I have a lot of stuff that I need to thin out. Okay. So I'm just going to send you a little box of Easter things. Okay. And, um, and see what you got, what you create with it. Okay. So I will go make that flyer now and get that posted. Um, if you missed any of this, Today, if it doesn't say live right here, then I am not live. I am on replay. Please comment pound replay so that we know that it's been rewatched. Um, and if you have any questions, of course, you could always shoot me an email at diamonddottingdivas at yahoo. And I will try and answer your questions and help you out. This needs to be finished and get our moss down and our extra egg. But my egg is still very wet. Oh, the orange is still very wet. Okay, so he's going to go here in the moss. I think it'll be cute. Little raffia bow. Okay. Um, I showed you at the beginning the stuff I picked up at, at Easter Tree. At Dollar Tree today and yesterday or whenever. Um, so if you missed any of that and want to see what I picked up, go ahead and rewatch. That was right at the beginning. And I think that's it, you guys. So you guys have a great night. It is Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. If you missed Kelly's What's Up Wednesday today, please go back and rewatch that also. She did some um, fun card creations again. Easy, easy, fun card creations that you could use our cool stickers with. So remember, those stickers, stickers are not just for kids. That's what I say all the time. <laughs> stickers are not just for kids. Um, I will be popping on again. I probably will not be on on Thursday and Friday, guys, because I will be out of town. I will be out in Glendale um, Arizona. So, um, we'll be popping on live from the show in at State Farm Stadium. We will be popping on live, um, but I won't be doing projects. Okay. So, but just be ready to, uh, join us out there and see what's going on and see what's happening. And some of the divas will be with me. So if you don't know these divas, well, you guys all know Kim Manley because she's on the, uh, trading card club. But if you don't know Michelle and Maria, uh, you may be able to meet them also on live um, from the State Farm Stadium because they'll be helping me out too. Um, all right, guys, that's it. If you have any questions, again, shoot me an email. I will get back to you as soon as I can. You guys have a great night. Happy Wednesday. Uh, love you guys. Oh, I got to do my little thing. Let's see. Oh, there it is. There it is. And what is the other one Kelly does? Oh, that no. This? Kelly loves that one. The light show. The light show. Look at that's cool. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a great night. I will chat with y'all soon. Bye.